Do you like the tuck? What the heck is a tuck turn, Megan? It is a basic West Coast. Sweater. I don't like basics. So then in this video, we're going to bring you three versions of a tuck turn to ramp up your West Coast swing. Now there's two basic tucks we need to know. Um, and really at the end of this video, you're going to have like seven variations. So the first most basic one is a sugar tuck. And there's a moment on the sugar tuck we're going to need to pay attention to. Then we have a passing tuck. These are not the uh, variations we're going to cover. These are the basic elements that you already need to know. Then we need to know a tuck turn from closed position. So let's cover some of the fundamental things first that are going to make this work. Count four is going to be fundamental, and it's something that we space on all the time. And if you don't understand this concept, you will not be able to lead and to follow these patterns effectively. So the tuck, one, two, three, and four, or sugar tuck. There's a whole beat on that four where we're connected in this hand, and she's following my lead around. What usually happens is we just de facto go through this, she turns around, and it loses that moment, and then I can't lead the pattern. So it's the same thing on the passing tuck. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. It's that whole beat of four that I'm going to use. Second thing we have to know is how to lead this from a closed position, because we're going to need to use that. So in leading this from a closed position, I'm going to allow Megan to get close to me, one, two, by drawing my arm in. I check her away for three and four five and six. Again, the distance, she's staying collected to this hand. If I leave the hand away from me, she stays away from me. But now I have no arm to let her out, so I need to draw her in to allow the arm to go out, anchor step. If we did this using the force, this is kind of what it looks like. I draw her in to let her go away and send her out, and I need to use that hand. Let's cover this one first. I'm going to roll her out off that tuck. One, two, three and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. I could stay enclosed or not at the end of that. So what has to happen is I have to draw her in. One, two, I check her away, and three. I'm going to place her on four. She's giving me that whole beat. Now I'm going to accelerate her for and five, and five. I'm going to put her back on that foot for six, and I'm going to free spin in front of me, seven and eight, nine and ten. So there's a little footwork stuff I have to do to accelerate this. This goes off the basics just a little bit. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to accelerate her by sending her and catching her on and five. And five. She's back connected to that. I put her on count six. I have not led her with a turn yet. I've put her straight on that foot. I have not added rotation yet. So this is five, this is six. Now I'm keeping this hand around her seven and eight anchor step. If I do it from this side, maybe you'll see one, two, and three, four, and five, six. So I haven't pulled her across. Now I roll this around and send her back out. Cool? That's version number one. One more time from this side. And we use that and five, six to kind of create an accent and it feels a little better. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. And for you hot shots, I could actually let her go for a free spin. Like I said, we're going to give you a bunch of different versions of this. One, two, and three, four, and five. If I step across for six, I can send her past anchor step. So I have to step to the other side of the slot without leading her to rotate yet. I'll show you. One, two, and three, four, and five. If I stay in front of her here, I've blocked her slot. If I start to go across, and by you kind of see the funny position of my body because I don't want to lead her to turn yet, right? Six, if I bail out hardcore and follow her around. What I'm doing by following her around, I'm literally following her back and sending her back out. Cool beans? That's like version 1 and 1A. One Second one, and we could do this again uh, off the sugar tuck. If we do this off the sugar tuck, version number 2, 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, and 8. There's two versions, 9 and 10. There's two ways I can do this. I can either do it straight with this elbow, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I put her on that foot. I accelerate and 5. I replace six, and I use my right hand to curve her back around, anchor step. Like we teach everywhere, let's do the baby steps to that. Pull the hand up, rotate, 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 drop this elbow down. That's the catch. So if I did that again, 
hand goes up in my tuck position, rotate, 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 and I have to close the distance with my elbow and that provides the catch. Let's do that one more time. We'll do it both ways, both the sugar tuck version, the passing tuck version. Sugar tuck, three and four and five, six, seven and eight, nine and 10. Same thing with the passing tuck, works just the same. One, two, three and four. We need that count four and five, six, and I start to stop her with this hand. Now there's two things. If you have a good connection with your partner, you might have a grip on this finger to be able to rotate her with just this hand. I like to use this as a backup. Here's what I mean. One, two, and three, four, and five, six. If I can start to create that grip right there, I could take that around anchor step, right? I don't have to use the left hand if I can really start to get a connection in those fingers. Not everyone will give that to you, so that's where we use this. Two and three, four and five, six. I block her with the right hand anchor step. There's another way, if that elbow catch is weird, I can use the right hand to create that catch. If we do it from the sugar tuck, one, two, three and four and five, six. This is easier to direct around right in front. So what are we doing there? Baby steps, hand goes up, rotate, 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 rotate. I catch, I reach across and catch, boom. <laughs> and then rotate, rotate, rotate. So we did it from the sugar tuck and the passing tuck. One, two, three and four and five, six, seven and eight, nine and 10. Then we do it from the passing tuck. One, two and three, four and five, six, seven and eight nine and 10. Again, I could leave this enclosed or I could open up. Typically, I just open up. The final version is I could let her spin by after that catch. One, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and 10. But pro tip, this is again tricky because I have to clear the slot for her and not cause her to rotate too early. What do I mean by that? If we do this from the sugar tuck version, one, two, three and four and five. I have to be on this side of the slot for five. On six, I'm stepping across. I don't want to take her with me. I want to leave her on that foot before I rotate her. Anchor step. That is a common problem to the leaders. Do you have anything from the followers perspective? Followers, just don't rush. You're going to want to stay with your true timing and whatever the timing the leader gives you. Right, so whatever moments, like that's my job. I brought her that connection. I put her on four. She goes in five and five. She stays there for whatever I want to do until I put her on that foot, boom. Then she rotates, back she goes. So followers, you're gonna be staying in some sort of connection the whole way, mm -hmm. right? You're connected, you've been pulled to the leader. He sends you down line. He accelerates you. You've been popped into that connection. He puts you on that foot. Then he rotates you, and you have seven different tuck turns. Want to know my favorite current moves are? You can watch them right here. And if you want moves that are just right for you, head on over to westcoastswingonline.com. You can try for 14 days here. What's really cool about it is it's sorted by level. Beginner, beginner, intermediate, intermediate, advanced, pro level moves. So if you say, I want a tuck turn and I'm an advanced dancer, you can type in tuck turn, sort by advanced. It will give you the advanced tuck turn variations or whatever level you might be. You can try for 14 days here or check out my current favorite moves right here.